Hello and welcome to Sora's The Good Food Stories. Today we're in my kitchen to try a little something different. After all the research I've been doing for my channel, learning about the history of food and its preservation, I've decided to try this recipe and embark on a journey of salt fish. I discovered this recipe in the book Starfish, which has become a favorite of mine. In it, there are several salt hake recipes. Being in the middle of winter here and a soup lover, this sounded really good. Salt hake, leek and potato soup. If this recipe sounds appealing, give it a go and let me know in the comments. As Daisy Jones says in her book, salted fish is very historic. It's been used in Europe since medieval times. Dried salted fish was an important protein for the Basques and the Vikings on their boats. It became an important source of protein for many other humbler individuals through the ages too. Salting is an effective method of preservation. It means you don't need a fridge or meat or money to get supper on the table. You just need a store of rock hard, incredibly salty fish. Now in my enthusiasm to try salt fish, I rushed out and bought a fresh hake. Came home with two beautiful fillets and bones for the fish stock, which you can watch on one of my shorts. Little did I realize that this was a bit much and ended up doing two salt hake recipes back to back. I have possibly put my family and myself off salt fish for good. Too much of a good thing ain't so good. So first warning, don't overdo it. Second warning, make sure you rinse your salted fish well. I mean really well. Let it bath in fresh water for a good while and change the water several times too. I did not read the recipe properly and missed this crucial step. Rookie error. After two bowls of soup on the second night of salt egg recipe number two, my dad ended up drinking three liters of water during the night. You have been warned. I hope I'm not putting you off trying this. It's definitely worth a go. The texture of the fish is completely different from fresh fish and goes very well in soup or stew. Now, let's get to the recipe. First things first, you're going to salt your hake overnight, no longer than 24 hours, otherwise it'll be way too salty and you don't want that. Cover the fish in salt, just like so, as you can see. Get your little helpers in on the action, it's good fun. Thumbs up from my little helpers and onto the ingredients. I've listed the recipe below so you can grab it there, but here you have them laid out for you to see. So first things you're going to slice the onion thinly, grate the garlic and slice the leeks also nice and thin. Chuck them all into a pot with two tablespoons of coconut oil or olive oil if you prefer. Now you're going to sweat them off on low, get them nice and soft and then chuck in your vermouth or white wine as in this case. Give it a good stir and let it reduce to about half. Once they're nice and soft, you're going to add in your butter and get all melty. Now prep your potatoes, peel and thinly slice them again, just like that. Get them into the pots with the rest of the beautiful veggies and pour in your fish stock that you made the other day. Now let it cook for 20 minutes and then get your fish ready. You want to rinse that hake thoroughly. <laughs> Don't do what I did and plunge it straight into the boiling water. No, you want to get that salt off and then cook it for six to eight minutes in the boiling pot like that. And then take it out and leave it to cool on a board until it's cool enough to flake into your soup. But don't forget your parsley. I almost did. I had to dash out into the garden in the middle of the night to grab this beautiful herbaceous herb. Now flake the fish into the soup. It's looking beautiful. And then you're going to give it a good stir. And with one final addition of the parsley and maybe a dash of cream. And then you're ready to serve. And Gumbo's up first. He's going to be our little guinea pig to taste and give us thumbs up or possibly thumbs down. Let's wait and see. Looking beautiful. That's lovely. 
Mm. Mm. Yummy.